I will now prove Hunter Biden's laptop was covered up to help manipulate and help Joe Biden win. If you posted about Hunter Biden's laptop on Facebook, your voice was cut down. You were banned. If you posted about it on Twitter, shut off. They said, it's unverified. It's unverified. It's your job as the media to verify it. The New York Post had time to verify it, but the New York Times refused to verify it. The point being, this was by far the most meddled with and unfair election of all time. And now they're all acting like, oh, we didn't know. Take a look. Go ahead. No, no, I probably best I don't. Obviously, uh, we're not going with the uh, New York Post story uh, right now on Hunter Biden. This is really one of the stupidest October surprises I've ever seen. It helps to really view this as storytelling, not so much as news coverage, but as political entertainment. NPR explained, we don't want to waste our time on stories that are not really stories. Who even thought to make that story up? It's a story that many intelligence experts say has all the hallmarks of a foreign interference campaign. It looks like it's tied to Vladimir Putin in Moscow. This is a Russian intelligence disinformation campaign. It's foreign intelligence operation. Foreign intelligence operation. Russian intelligence. Rudy Giuliani was not fed passively Russian disinformation. He ordered it off the menu. And this is a classic example of the right-wing media machine. And he's in the midst of a scandal. He's not. And he's taking, he's of course not. he is, no. Leslie. We should note Hunter Biden isn't running for president. That argument has been debunked. There is no evidence that Joe Biden did anything wrong. For all we know, these emails are made up. It just lacks credibility. There you go. Every single mainstream newscaster, including looking in Trump's eyes, Leslie Stahl, he was, he's not in a scandal. He's of course not, he is, no. Leslie. He's not. Oh, just the way they patronize you, the way they talk down to you, the way they don't take your concern seriously is getting very frustrating. So that is why people are sick and tired of Joe Biden. That's why 3,000 patriots went to the Capitol unarmed and walked through the building be like, we're here. This is peaceful. But watch out. Now, earlier that day, a bunch of people were tug of warring with the barriers. But when the 3,000 people that love Donald Trump left the speech, all the doors and windows were open. So that is one of the biggest setups of all time is have some actors, crisis actors struggling with police early in the evening. And then later that day, when all the peaceful grandmas, grandpas and T-ball coaches walk in, look, those are those terrorists from earlier. Those are the ones wearing the masks and baseball hats. The grandma wearing the American flag now showing her face. Please, uh, very few revolutions and insurrections are unarmed. In fact, the only person that was harmed on that day was a Trump supporter who was shot as she was unarmed by a black leftist police officer. Now BLM says if you shoot an unarmed person without trying to tackle them, handcuff them, get them to safety, like our heavenly father of fentanyl, George Floyd, then that cop, a key, what is it, ACAB, all cops are beep, beep, a B word, defund the police, let's hate the police. Notice they're totally silent about Officer Bird, who shot an unarmed woman. Hmm. They're not saying, say her name, say her name. It is all a setup, and Joe Biden and the big D.C. swamp are behind all of it. We'll be right back with a whole lot more right show. Don't go anywhere.